Let's go. What the heck? South Carolina, I'm going to need your help today because Jaheim Bell, one of my favorite players in the SEC, has gone to Florida State. And you have Marshawn Lloyd in the transfer portal. These are two of your most productive players. We're still trying to figure out what Juice Wells is going to do. And, of course, Spencer Rattler as well. And Shane Beamer. I mean, the last time I did a video on him, I'm going to be honest, South Carolina fans, he came after me when I was actually complimenting Shane Beamer and that I thought Auburn should have pursued him in a couple of days. I'll be dropping my final thoughts on the Hugh Freeze hire at Auburn, so that's why you need to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And, of course, we are close to that 1,000 subscriber mark, so we hope you check it out. And, obviously, uh, the big story here is the new offense coordinator, Dow Loggins or Doel Logans. I, I do believe it's Dow Loggins. Still, he is the guy that Shane Beamer has decided to run this offense. And of course, Satterfield, the offensive coordinator last year, was probably the most hated offensive coordinator, and he leaves. And I thought that would be a breath of fresh air for these South Carolina Gamecocks. But they still decided to jump ship. So I'm going to share with you a few thoughts on this very thing. Now, you know, I kept hearing about, uh, you know, Jaheim Bell's usage as the big reason why he's leaving. What else did he want, right? You're a tight end that gets carries. Only Brock Bowers is the only other player that actually has that as a part of, you know, his repertoire. Now, could you have gotten more targets? Yes, but once again, Juice Wells was that guy and... It took a while for Spencer Rattler to really get this train moving. So, you know, Jaheim Bell, who's from Florida, I, I could see why he wanted to go to Florida State. You get a better quarterback there with uh, Jordan Travis, and we'll see how that opener next year versus LSU actually goes. But, man, it is very, very interesting that uh, Jaheim Bell decided to jump ship. But the more interesting one to me is Marshawn Lloyd. What more do you want, right? You got the single-digit number. You got the coveted number one uniform. Um, Shane Beamer loves you. The program loves you. You got the most carries on the team. You got some receptions as well, including a big one in this Arkansas game. I mean, what more do you want? Obviously, we all want a breath of fresh air sometime and maybe a fresh start is something uh, that Marshawn Lloyd wants. I could see other programs being very interested in his talents. But, man, I freaking, ugh, I, mm, I, I don't, I don't know. Like, there are very few programs that love their running back as much as South Carolina loves Marshawn Lloyd, right? I went and actually looked at his announcement, and I saw all the people outpouring love towards Marshawn, and he decided to leave. And honestly, there is no better way that South Carolina could have ended their season other than the way that they actually ended it, right? So we shall see what actually happens there. I hope he comes back because I love the fact that, you know, he's with South Carolina, right? So, and I'm sure you South Carolina fans do as well. And then, of course, you have these two offensive line commitments. I'm not going to pretend to know really anything about both of these. I know one was a transfer and the other was a pretty high-level four-star recruit. And they are looking elsewhere, potentially. Rarely do prospects that decommit actually end up committing. So, man, uh, a lot honestly changed. So we'll see what happens here uh, with Shane Beamer. What I will say is this, right? In the grand scheme of things, as great as Marshawn Lloyd and Jaheim Bell have been, and obviously, you know, Juice Wells does decide to go to the NFL, I, I will say that ultimately your team comes down to four major factors, and that is your head coach, your quarterback, your OC, and DC. And if you land all four of those things, you are – going to be a decent team no matter where you are in all of college football and the most important of these things in my estimation is your head coach and Shane Beamer is still there I still believe in his supreme coaching talent and obviously his supreme coaching genetics um, so for me I, I'm not panicking just yet now what I will say is uh, Dow Loggins or Doel Logans, or however, I've heard both, right? His NFL stops weren't really that great. I think only his year in Chicago was a year where they averaged a top 20 yard per play mark in the entire league. And his final two years as the OC of the Jets, they were last in the NFL in yards per play. But what I will say is, 
the NFL to me is more player based if anything I do think coaching matters but it is interesting that an OC goes to four different stops and he wasn't exceptional at any of them now once again those four stops weren't necessarily you know where he had Patrick Mahomes or Josh Allen to work with there but still now what I will say is you know I I do have a lot of sources and and folks that cover the Arkansas Razorback program they loved him they really 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 did and you know you listen to some of his speeches and things that you know he has shared with uh, Arkansas players over the years uh, they do get you fired up he is a very affable eloquent guy but can he actually call plays can he actually be the anti Satterfield and be very creative this year for uh, South Carolina? We'll see, right? I will say that there was another coordinator this year that who was also in his lower 40s who had had a lot of previous young coordinator experience who turned out to be a really, really good coordinator in the SEC. And that guy's name was... Bomb! I'm looking at you. Yes, you. Right now, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. And that guy's name was Matt House, the LSU defensive coordinator. Um, he had one really, really good year as a defense coordinator his last year um, in Kentucky in 2018. And this year at LSU, he was a very, very good DC for the Tigers. So what I will say is, I know there are some, you know, out there, uh, South Carolina fans that say, man, it's it's been a couple years since he's been an OC. He's never really been an OC um, in, in the collegiate level. But I do think he deserves a chance, right? Um, Beamer has been just phenomenal during his uh, short stint so far as the South Carolina coach. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt here in figuring this very important coaching position out. I find this program to be really, really, really interesting. And if you're also interested, I will be filling in in late defense. I'll be filling in uh, in late December on the fan upstate. So um, make sure you check that out if you want more on that. Comment down below. Hit me up at Carter the Power. Okay, it is Power Hour, SEC baby. Boom. Oh, and tonight, ooh, y'all don't know, y'all don't know, y'all don't know. We having gumbo tonight. Let's go. Ha ha ha.